If today you are seen, then it's another. That's why I feel like no other. Hey, this is Dave with the Shepherd School, and I want to show you my new hive stand that I uh, I built. Uh, there was a guy on YouTube, and I can't think of the uh, the guy right now, but uh, I'll post that as a link when I get back in the house. He uh, had a, a video on how to make a $2 hive stand using a single 2x4. And basically, he took an 8-foot 2x4, cut it in two 3-foot pieces, and two one-foot pieces, and he nailed it together, and uh, used that as a uh, as a place to put two um, hives. Well, I've got two hives now, but next year I plan on having a third, so I wanted one that was a little longer. So instead of uh, doing it exactly how he did it, I got two eight-foot two-by-fours, cut them into five-foot sections, and then the rest of it I did in one-foot sections. So I had two five-foot lengths, and uh, six one foot lengths and I also got a five foot piece of rebar that I cut into 18 inch uh, uh, strips so all I did as you can see I uh, made it kind of like a ladder and every foot I nailed a, uh, a one foot board and that is just perfect to sit my uh, hive stands on, right? My screen bottom boards. So that any waste will fall directly down onto the ground. And then a roughly about a third of the way from each end, I drilled two holes, you know, on each side and then pounded in the rebar. Then I just took it outside and used my level, you can see there, and a dead blow hammer and, and beat it into the ground. My original goal was to set the uh, rebar into some uh, little Tupperware containers full of oil for uh, ant traps, but my ground is pretty uneven. As you can tell, it looks like one end's almost on the ground, and the other end's a couple feet in the air. That's because I live on a hill. And so in order to, to make it steady, I just pounded it into the ground. So uh, check back later and you can see me get stung trying to move all these hives. Thanks. I've got a plan Fits my point of view I'm getting